guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you to make a penguin snowball fight. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a penguin snowball fight in Scratch, where one player controls Penguin 1 with the arrow keys and space bar, and another player controls Penguin 2 with WASD and F. The goal of the game is to throw a snowball at the other penguin. Let's get started. Start by going to scratch.mit.edu and create a new project. Name the project Snowball Fight and delete the cat. Let's add a penguin as our first character. Start by clicking the blue button and search for penguin. I'll choose penguin 2. Let's rename this to penguin 1. Let's also get rid of the costumes penguin A, B, and C. So this is our only costume left. This penguin looks a little too large, so let's set the size to 50%. Drag out a one green flag click block, and in looks, drag out a set size to 100% block. Change it to 50. That looks better. Let's control the penguin with the arrow keys. Start by going to control and drag out a forever block. Drag out an if then block. And in sensing, Drag out a key space pressed block. Change space to right. Then in motion, drag out a change x by 10 block here. Set it to 3. Now we can move the penguin to the right. Let's let the penguin move in all the other directions. Duplicate the block. And do it until you have 4. Now, select this to left arrow, up arrow and down arrow. Change this to negative 3. Then get rid of all of these and drag out a change y by 10 block. Change this to 3 and this to negative 3. Now you should be able to move the penguin in all four directions. Let's let the penguin start at about right here which is negative 130 and 0. So drag out a go to xy block, change it to negative 130 and zero. There we go. Let's now let the penguin throw snowballs. Let's start by making the throwing animation. Go to events and drag out the one green flag click block and then the forever block. Now drag out a wait until block. This waits until this condition is met. In sensing, drag out a key space pressed block. Let's have the penguin turn clockwise 15 degrees. And then, let's wait 0.1 seconds. Drag out a wait 1 second block and change it to 0.1. Then, turn back 15 degrees. Now, we have a throwing animation when we press space. Let's make a snowball for the penguin to throw. Hover over this blue button and select paint. I'm going to use a white fill and black outline. I'm also going to set it to 10. Now, we don't want an oval as our snowball. What are we, playing football? So to make sure we actually draw a perfect circle, press and hold shift as you draw. There we go. Snowball should be about twice or three times the size of the penguin. Go to the code and drag it a one green flight click block. Let's resize it to be about 15%. That looks great. Now, let's have the penguin throw snowballs. To do this, we're going to have to use clones. Clones work like this. Basically, you have one object, and then you clone it to duplicate the object. Then, when you duplicate the object, that object has certain code to run. To make a clone, go to the penguin, and then in control, drag out the create clone of myself block right here. Change it to say sprite 1. Let's also rename sprite 1 to say snowball 1. Now, drag out the when I start as clone block. Let's first of all hide the original snowball. And then show. Let's also start about 15 above the penguin and 10 to the right. Drag out a go to xy block and drag out two plus operators. Then in sensing, drag out this blank of blank block right here and right here. Select this to be penguin one and this to be penguin one. Select this to be the y position. Set this to 10. And this is the 15. Now, drag out a control, a forever block. 
then in motion, drag out a change x by 10 block. However, if we're touching the edge, we should delete the clone. So in control, drag out an if then block. So if touching the edge, delete this clone. There we go. Now we should be able to throw snowballs. Great. Okay, there's something interesting about this penguin. He's going rapid fire, and this will make the game completely unfair. Let's allow the penguin to not use rapid fire. Go to penguin one, drag out a wait one second block. Then let's wait for the key space not to be pressed. Drag out a wait until block, and then operators, a not block. Then in sensing, a key space pressed block. Now our penguin is not allowed to use rapid fire. Great. Now that we're able to throw snowballs, let's duplicate this penguin and snowball. Duplicate both the penguin and snowball. Snowball. Let's start by adjusting the penguin's properties. Change this to 130. We're using WASD here, so change this to D, this to A, this to W, and this to S. And change both of these to F. Let's reverse the animation here. And let's also create a clone of Snowball 2. And in costumes, let's flip the penguin over. Click the select button and choose flip horizontal. There we go. Now go to Snowball 2. We have to start in the X position of Penguin 2 and the Y position of Penguin 2. Let's also change the X by negative 10. Now, both penguins can throw. Now, let's add some competition. Let's sense if a penguin has touched a snowball. Go to penguin 1, drag out a 1 green flag clicked block, and then a wait until block. Let's wait until we are touching snowball 2. If we have, let's tell all the sprites that penguin 2 is 1. To do this, we can use broadcasting. Broadcasting works like this. You can send out a message and everyone hears it. And if something has a specific code for it, then they run. Let's set this to say penguin two one. Now drag this code into penguin two. Change this to say snowball one. Create a new message saying penguin one one. Now let's create a new sprite to announce the winner. Let's paint this sprite. Set to fill to be black. I'm going to use pixel 2. Let's set the text to say penguin 1, 1. Resize it a bit so it's a bit bigger. And center it. Now, let's duplicate this. Let's also set the text to say penguin 2, 1. Recenter it. Now go to the code. We've got a one green flag clicked block, a hide block, and then a set position to zero, zero block. Now, if we receive that penguin one is one, let's switch the costume to costume one and show. Let's also stop everything else in the program. Now, let's duplicate this script. Set it to penguin two, one and costume two. Now, if a certain penguin throws and wins, it will announce it. Woohoo! We're almost done. Let's just add a background and background noise. Click on the backdrop. In backdrops, select add a new backdrop. I'm going to use Arctic. Now, let's also add a new sound. I'm going to upload a sound that I found on orangefreesounds.com. I also feel like I should speed it up a bit. nice. Now go to the code, you get a one green flag clicked block, and then a forever block. And then in sound, drag out a play sound tango music block. Make sure not to drag out start sound block, or else it won't work because it continue to start the sound but never finish it. Now you can have a battle with some music combined. Great! Now you can have a battle with anyone you know. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learn how to make your own projects, hit the subscribe button, 
Watch out for my next video, Be There, Be MC Squared. See ya.